no <laughs> the I mean the I think you you are introducing the pressure like something negative uh, or something extra in our job when you know it's it's always there we are looking for results it's a competition uh, there's an opponent in front who wants to take the same you want so the pressure is always there but it's not it's not negative imagine if i say that we go into the game without any pressure you know <laughs> i'm gonna look arrogant or relax and it's not the case we are 100% concentrate in the in the task. We know it's gonna be it's gonna be complicated. We have we have experience already in in, in the net bank to to deal with uh, teams from from a lower league and how difficult it is to to get the result in 90 minutes that allowed you to continue in the tournament. So I don't have to say how difficult it's gonna be because we all know. So there's no there's no extra extra pressure the pressure is always there and said many times in in these occasions that working for uh for clubs like like orlando pirates it's it, it's always a uh, expectations about us are high and everybody expect us to be in the next round so uh, for all of you we already won that game so there's nothing that we will get more than more than the result and that's the difficult part of being in the big clubs that you start the games already already winning from your perspective and that makes the task uh, even much more difficult but there's no extra pressure it's the same pressure as usually we have to go there and win and play a good game and and that's that's the idea that's the intention okay i'm looking for more hands this one there the back uh, do you wanna, okay. Lorenz, let's maybe just give somebody an opportunity since he's already here. Oh, all right. Thomas Howard, I'm Jonathan from Sports Coach. I'm, I'm looking at the venue that you play at. Uh, it's it's always been Pirates' heavy hunting ground. How much of that works in you, in your favor, as a coach, knowing that the the stadium that you're going to, the club has always done well there. No, not much. In my in my personal opinion, I hope uh, players feel comfortable wherever we play. We have been playing now uh, a decent, uh, good time uh, away games uh, in in PSL, having uh, good performances and uh, very good results. Uh, so we just want to continue. We are in a good moment. I think we are going through this competition in a good moment for us. It's coming in a good moment, and we need to we need to capitalize that momentum in our favor. Not thinking so much who is who is in front of us. We want to go all the way. Like I said, when we start here, the first press conference before the tournament start, and what we are getting in front is one more obstacle, and we don't think so much in which in which. Uh, uh, division are they playing and in which venue are we going to play we just want to go to the game and, and you know overcome the next obstacle and make sure that we can see ourselves uh, in the next round okay where's the mic where's the mic okay uh, Javilani, Alex, uh, uh, coach jose uh, let's talk about the orlando pirates final third entry decision making um when you look at the net cup I mean, uh, you have created quite a lot of opportunities, but some of them you couldn't utilize them. And you're playing against a side which is London Stars. When you look at them, I think they've considered one goal, if I'm not mistaken, as tend to be corrected. So in terms of creating opportunities and scoring them against London Stars, how prepared are you? Have you, have you, have you fixed some of those blunders that you did in the past? I thank you. Well, if we... If, if we speak about the uh, about the present, about the recent games, let's say I'm, I'm not a big fan of the. I'm, I'm not a big. Well, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a headline if I say that. Say it, coach. One headline. No. One Nesbitt Cup tomorrow. 
I'm getting relaxed. Anyway. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I read. I read somewhere that we are the team who scored the most in 2023, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I don't think that it's, it's our main problem so far or, or in, 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 this, in this moment, uh, the, the, the way we capitalize our, our, offensive, uh, our offensive phase. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm concerned about every, every, think around the game and around the team as usually because we are always looking for improvement. It's, it's our task every week. But uh, we are in a good moment. There's, there's coming contribution in, in the scoring department from, from players who were not scoring recently. So that makes us even more confident and more happy. And yeah, our intention is to... I think our... our Obligation is also to make sure that we 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 play a game that is is a is a great game to 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 be seen for the people who's gonna pay attention on us on the weekend and and that means that we have to go as much as possible to the goal and create chances and hopefully capitalize as much as possible. But we're gonna find a difficult team in front of us. Uh, uh, it's gonna make it difficult, but we are confident one more time. Okay, Lorenz, there was another hand somewhere. I think it's nine, nine wins out of the data. And the only two games that you guys have lost is Chiefs and uh, Sundown. But uh, obviously, uh, do you think you guys are peaking at the right time of the season? Um, obviously, with this long run of wins now. Yes, it's it's obvious. It's, it's not only about the results. I think what we what we are expressing on the field recently, how competitive uh, we are in this moment, what the players express during the week, the atmosphere, everything tells you that we are in a in a good space right now, and. Um, yeah, the figures are excellent, but I will take also the yeah what what the team is expressing. Let's say it's not on, sometimes you you get the results, but there's only the result. You know, if you don't get the result, there's nothing else, and that's what we try to avoid. We try all, always to to make sure that we put the attention also in some other things like continue improving our progression. Uh, make sure that we, we get the result through our identity, what we try to, to express as a collective. And in that sense, I'm a happy coach. And obviously, I'm very happy with the last results, which is, like I said before, we want to, I think, and we think that this, this, uh, these last stages of the competition, NetBank is coming in a good moment for us. And, and that's what we want to do on Saturday to show that we really want to go all the way because in this type of games, if you don't really want, you are not going. That's my opinion. It doesn't matter if the opponent in front of you is a first, second, third division team. It's about ambition. It's about wanting, wanting to to see yourself in the next round. And and uh, yeah, the moment tells us that we are we are ready. Thanks, Thank coach. Well, that that's the ideal scenario. Uh, obvious, I think. Uh, Going, going again to the numbers, to the figures, if I'm not mistaken, in every game that we score, we won, unless Cape Town, if I'm not mistaken. So for us, it's very important to get the lead. Uh, we are a very confident team when we are leading the games. Uh, it's not easy to score against Pirates, so it's, it's a big advantage for us. So obviously, the ideal scenario is to go to the, to the halftime with a good uh, advantage, to it's an emotional game. If the opponent feels that what they prepare, what they were planning during weeks uh, is working at the half time, it, the hope is going to be there. And that's an important thing that we need to 
we need to show from the beginning that we are not, not going to allow them to, let's say, but again, it's easy to sit down here and talk, but then the games are complicated and I'm sure there's going to be moments for both teams as usually. Uh, we felt very confident against Benda, but suddenly we found ourselves playing an extra time and we have to be prepared for every scenario. You don't know what can happen early in the game for both teams and can be a big condition for the rest of the game. So we are, like I said, we are not uh, thinking that it's going to be a piece of cake because there's proofs in, in some other clubs' teams that it was not a piece of cake. and. Uh, we, we are prepared for, you know, do a serious job there. Okay, last round of questions. I will start with, I think it's in Pendulo Day. I've noted Kamu, Vezine. If you've got enough time on the end, you'll also get a chance in some. Um, coach, uh, you just told your parents, Coach. Um, coach, I know this is uh, a long for improvement, and you mentioned, I think, later in now that this tie comes. The club is in a good run of form. Do you think that since arriving around the Pirates, the players now have now changed completely to how you want them to play and to the level that you want them to play and how they approach the games with the winning mentality? Thank you. Uh, it's a logic thing. Uh, we're going through this is our week number 42 together. So it's a huge amount of training sessions and games and disappointments and celebrations and a lot of things together. So we get in, we get in, that's the intention that we get in better week after week. The potential of the squad is is a uh, it's massive. So it's our mandate to 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 make them look and feel better week after week one more time. But I think we managed to. To compete well early in the season, that's why we we got a trophy uh, in the first stage of the of this our season. Uh, we have uh, also difficult moments uh, during the season. That's why we are not fighting for the for the PSL title as well. And now we found ourselves again in a good moment of confidence. Let me say, I think we playing pretty much the same that we played also when we got a couple of. Uh, uh, draws and, and defeats. Uh, we are not that far from that moment, trust me. But now the ball is going to the net and everything looks much better and we feel we are all, you know, much more, let's say, good looking. Uh, but, you know, it's a game and, and, and sometimes the opponent is better than you as well and we have to respect that. Uh, but yeah, the progression uh, and like I said, I'm not all, only thinking about what the results are telling. I try to go much more deep. It's my, my obligation as well. And, and we're getting right. We are, I think, much better team than months ago. Okay, quick one, Tom. Buenos dias, coach. Uh, Buenos dias. Coach, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, looking at the game against Venda uh, Football Academy, are there lessons learned from that game because they made you sweat for that result? So are there lessons learned from that game going to this week and that game's done? In that case, I think we played a, we played a good game in early uh, in the first half. Uh, not giving them so much uh, possibilities to to dream about. We we got the lead, we got the advantage. We have, uh, I think, those are moments in, in that games when you get the lead that you have to you have to be a bit more aggressive after that. The, the minutes after getting the lead, uh, in my opinion, are crucial, and we need to improve in that moments that we are not uh waiting for the second goal and we are really going to get the second goal goal and uh then in the second half we we got a bit a bit nervous in that game after the, the benda score and probably is the moment that we need to manage a bit better um, but i think again it was recently but it was in a different moment of the team i think that in this moment we are much more uh, solid and confident so we need to learn from every experience that we have together. Uh, it's not a discussion. And I think, like I said, 
we we went through two very difficult games in this in this competition against all stars we managed to get the lead if i'm not mistaken after 60 65 minutes uh, close to go to the penalties against all stars so i don't think that anybody in the club in the team around the team is thinking that this is going to be an easy game and that's the thing that uh, are going to make us very strong on saturday Yes, thank you, Coach. Um, Coach, uh, a disclaimer, I know that uh, you don't like no, 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 no. Uh, feel free, feel free. Or discussing individual players, but uh, um, well, when you signed China, uh, he came more, I think you had a political crisis at the time, you were coming more as a, as a cover. Um, and in fact, even where he was, he was not a first choice. Um, and I look at what you've done previously with uh, um, Saleh at the end of the season, now Zuckerberg as well. Um, just the amount of work, uh, especially in this case, even the goalkeeping um, coach, you know, the department has done the on China. I'm, I'm looking at, I think the last three matches, clean sheets, um, and I understand that he was, he even came close for consideration in the national team as well. Um, just how he's been in terms of transforming him when he arrived and what he is today. Uh, as you said before, I don't really like to, to put the focus in the individuals, especially before a, an important game for us. Uh, we are just usually when when the collective is doing well, you you will find always uh, people who is performing uh, uh, that, that in a, in a very high level. Otherwise, it's difficult to to get good results and good performances as a, as a collective. I don't know if, if I express myself good enough here, but, and that's the consequence. Uh, we really trust and believe in the training port in the training process, like I said many times. I'm, I'm no one without my coaching staff. I have a super good coaching staff around. They are doing a fantastic job in every department and, and we are there just to help the players to, to be better, to look better and, and to win games. And uh, all the credit for them to, to pay attention on the details because if they are part of Orlando Pirates squad is because they are quality players. Otherwise, they are not going to make it to be there. Uh, and then it's about small things, small details in the daily day work that makes them um, improve and, and, and get a different different dimension as an individuals. And in this case that you mentioned before is a guy who's really uh, putting everything in order to make it. It's not, it's not by chance, I have to say, in this case. It's not just, uh, you know, key, you know, moment. It, it's not by chance. He's doing everything to 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 be there, to perform, to be in the level that you are, you are required to, to, to be in the in the in the pilots uh, squad and pilots star eleven, and we're happy to see our individuals shining, and this little by little more individuals are coming to the party as well, and we get a benefit as a collective, and it makes me look even better coach. It's, you know, it, it is what it is. This is a game, and we. Like I said before, we look much better when we are winning games, all of us. A quick one, Michelle, and that will be the last one. Coach, you can write up on the stand if you want. Coach, the uh, area this year, you know, so the things have been coming up with most wins, uh, match winning their goals. But sometimes the international team goes to watch in the match feet and coming in as well, they take pressure off you. Maybe in a collective group, how important is it to have a player such as Tim Hall to the game? It's a collective sport. Uh, it's important that everybody everybody understand uh, the different roles that we are giving to the players in our structure in every game plan. Uh, I'm really happy to to be part of the group to have the opportunity to work with uh, such a quality players uh, versatile players as well uh, ready to uh, 
uh, modify their roles in the game, sometimes to sacrifice things as well. And that's the important thing, that everybody understands that when the collective is shining, they're going to look, again, better players, better coaches. And uh, we are in that stage, so uh, we really want to have all of our quality players ready to perform. Uh, we're glad that, that Temi Kosi made it to, to be part of the group in the last part of the season, and he's been uh, very important for all of us, like all, in every other player before. And, and uh, I think we managed uh, through the season to be competitive. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter who was uh, available for selection. I think Pirates was a competitive team through the season. And, and uh, yeah, fortunately, now we are in a good moment also in terms of uh, injuries. And we have all, all, not all, but most of our players ready, ready to perform.